happy Thanksgiving and good morning to you. Uh, we are starting, Donna's with me, we're starting the day off at the gym and I just want to start this off too. I was looking, you know, talking about Leif Garrett and I was looking up his pictures. Well, David Cassidy was my jam and I ran across some pictures of him and someone had said that they liked my haircut and they wanted a haircut like me and they were going to their hairdresser and what I realized is that all you have to do is bring a picture of David Cassidy here's proof yep so pretty much proof David Cassidy and I either I've reincarnated him or we were separated at birth. So I'm outside. It's just too beautiful to be inside. So, and it's kind of windy. So if my hair is blowing around or you can't hear me right now, um, I'll show you what I got in the mail finally. After everybody was saying how they couldn't hear me, I got my microphone. So I thought I'd do an unboxing and then I'll put it on my phone so that you can tell me if you think that it helps. So let's open it and see what I got. So I got the Smart Mic, an ultra compact microphone for improved sound quality on your mobile device. So that's what it looks like. And it just like plugs in well, it doesn't plug into the bottom because I had to buy this also to go with it. It's a lightning to headphone jack, jack adapter. And so you put, I don't know if you can see that part in the phone. And then that part, you put that on. And this is supposed to come with, oh, it did, a holder. When I read the reviews, some people said it didn't come with the holder because it, you have to have some way to hold it on the phone, the microphone. And so they said they didn't get this. So I'm glad I got it. So I'm all set to set myself up with a new microphone. So now, hopefully, uh, the volume will be good for everybody. So I am going to put this on and then the rest of the video I make today will be with it on. So let's see if there's a difference. You let me know if there's a difference in my next clips coming up. And Donna and I, Donna said she'd let me um, interview her today. And so I might put that in tomorrow. I may put it in today. It depends on how long it goes. But today's Thanksgiving. So um, we have plans. We're going to go celebrate with the neighbors. And her neighbors are amazing. So um, I'm really lucky to be here and it's Thanksgiving. So I hope whatever you're doing today, uh, just to remember how grateful that we should be. I know life is crazy, but there's always something to feel grateful for. Okay, it's getting windy out here. I'm gonna go put the mic on and then my next clip, I'll have it on so you can let me know what you think. All right. Uh -huh. So I shouldn't do the thing with my glasses. <laughs> We're recording. <Or> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. I behave myself. Yeah. Donna, I finally mm -hmm. got Donna to sit down and, mm -hmm. and get in front of the camera. Huh, Donna? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Everybody. Some people are shy in front. Are you shy in front of the camera? Um, I've usually been on the other side of a camera. Yep. So. Um, this is different. It yeah. challenges me a little, but that's okay. That's a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're here mm -hmm. for. Uh, so Donna and I met. Donna was my boss, actually, right? Kind of, sort of, but not really. <laughs> my boss. I was afraid of Donna at first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not afraid of you anymore. Uh -huh. I yeah, know. I know you're smartest. We went to the fun mm -hmm. store together. Yeah, you can't, yeah. There's so when you go to the fun store that. together, then there's no fear. No fear. <laughs> After you take it, there's no fear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but we met on a shoot. I was the uh, makeup, hairstylist, yeah. stylist, helped with the talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Donna was in charge of a whole rebranding for a very big company. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we were sitting in the airport the first time, and we had a whole I, crew of people, whole crew, whole yeah, crew. to fly yeah. to Florida. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, I remember, you know, it took a lot because Jesse was still in high school. Yeah, when we went, and so you know to get everything set mm -hmm. and all that. <laughs> After I got a week set because we were gone for a week the first time and then a week the second time, and Donna turns around, we just get to the airport. And the uh, first one, the first. The year. first, yeah. yeah, we hadn't oh, no. even like hardly, you know, gotten. We hadn't gotten off the ground yet, and Donna's like, "Yep, we're gonna have to come back for a whole nother week of shooting." And I'm like, "Okay." It was complicated. <laughs> it was cut, but it turned out amazing, right? It was very high stress, but what did we do through most of it? Laugh. We laughed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And yeah. that's what we're doing now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I we laughed till we cried so many times since being here. Yes, we have. And that's that's mm -hmm. the best medicine, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. So, okay, got a couple questions for Donna. Donna, mm -hmm. I lived in Minnesota when we mm -hmm. met. Mm -hmm. How long did you live in Minnesota? Oh, um, there was a little six-year stint in California wine country, but in Minnesota, I lived there. I moved there when I was like 25 years old. Okay, and, so um, you're pretty much a Minnesotan. Yeah. And so I'm 30 now, so... <laughs> How does that add up? Did, I don't know. <laughs> you could be my but, kid. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was. Uh, I had moved to Minnesota, and then we had this stint in wine country, and then um, I just decided I didn't want to live in the cold anymore, and so I moved to Scottsdale of all places. Mm -hmm. I negotiated a work remote with my employer, moved to Scottsdale, lived there for three years, kept coming to Sedona. Yeah, I remember you saying. And I um, I put my house up for sale in Scottsdale. I really didn't like it there. There were a lot of things I didn't like about it. So I decided to move to Sedona, only there were no places available. Uh -huh. So I sent all my stuff back to Minnesota. Uh -huh. And then like two weeks later, I found out that there was uh, a place? this townhome <laughs> uh, that was available and I kind of bought it on the spot moved in, did a big remodel, and uh, six months later, you know, started living my adventure. Your adventure, mm -hmm. yep. Here. Yeah. Here, yeah. And it's amazing, Donna knows, I mean, I'm the luckiest gal ever getting in my van, and this is the first place I stopped to visit Donna, because we've been talking about mm -hmm. this forever, for me to come visit. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, yep, I want to get out of Minnesota for the winter, mm -hmm. came here, and it's amazingly beautiful. It's the first time I've ever been here. And you know all the spots. She knows all the spots. Oh, I don't know about all of them. But okay, she knows them. a lot of them. <laughs> she knows the spots. Yeah. Oh, and I just want to say too, I'm using my new microphone. So, yes, I know. So I said, I'll see what the next clip sounds mm -hmm. like with yeah. the new microphone. Yeah. So hopefully it's working because we don't know. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question. How... Well, how did you come to live in Sedona? Yeah, that kind of answered about, that. Yeah. Yep. I just kept coming here, and then I was like, why don't I just move here? Because you were drawn uh -huh. to here. Yeah. It yeah. is like... I, I really didn't want to move back to Minneapolis because that was kind of my former life. Right. And so I wanted a new life, and I wanted to carve it out for myself. I didn't really know anybody. Yeah. Um, and so that was... If I would have said... Um, to myself 20 years ago, I'm going to do this 20 years in the future, I would have said, you're nuts. Yeah. What are you, what are you thinking? Yeah. But, you know, here I am. And here you are. Nuts yeah. Nuts and liking it. Yeah. yeah. And you have lots of friends. I mean, I've met a lot of your friends, mm -hmm. yeah. very great people, all like different. Yeah. And actually for Thanksgiving, we're going to the next door neighbors. <laughs> for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. yeah. so uh, yeah, it's been great for me to meet all the people here. Mm -hmm. And so what are the pros and cons of living in Sedona? Yeah. The pros, I mean, I think everyone can see from the footage that you've been oh. doing every day, it is absolutely drop dead gorgeous here. Yep, it is, it is uh, when I get out in nature and I hike, it's a very peaceful, serene thing for me to do with my dog um, and with friends. Um, I love photography. Yeah. People say all the time, your photos are just amazing, but I have amazing subject matter here. Yeah. And uh, I think you have to 
um, live in a place for a while before you understand what to shoot and when. Mm -hmm. So this kind of really fuels my creativity. I really like it. It's a small town. It is easy to meet people if you get out there and you get involved based on the things that you're interested in. And the cons, you know, we are a small town. We are shrinking, just under 10,000 now, but we do get three to five million visitors every year. And that number is up with COVID. And that creates a lot of, um, you know, a, it's difficult to live in a place that is this saturated with tourists. And I don't begrudge anybody coming here. It's no. just we don't, we don't have the infrastructure. And the employment now. Now, yes. And so a lot of businesses, where there are businesses that are closing, seriously reducing their hours mm -hmm. um, during really high tourism, like yes. Thanksgiving is very high tourism. And Starbucks is closed. Yeah. Starbucks is closed very early in the day. It's only Starbucks. open a few hours. Um, mm -hmm. Shelves in the grocery store are yeah. pretty barren. Pretty barren. Yeah. Um, traffic is uh, kind of a cluster. Yeah. And, uh, y you know, we, we do get people who come here in search of beauty, but the attitude is I'm on vacation, so that kind of means I can be a little crazy, and maybe if I don't pick up after myself or my dog or want to ride on the rocks that I was here, yeah. hey, I'm, I'm on vacation. But that creates a lot of issues for the residents. The residents are the ones who pick up after the tourists, and I'm not saying that all tourists do no, this, no, no, not no, by no, a long no, shot, no. but... I know of people who have come here and left immediately because it's just too hard to navigate. The trailheads are well, all jammed. There's nowhere to park. And that's good it's, to like yeah. remind you know people that we're talking to is that no matter where you go, leave it better than how you got there. I right, mean, you know, right. pick up your stuff. You know, especially with nomads, because I know uh, garbage can really accumulate in such a small space. Right. So I'm always looking for somewhere to throw it. And so just make sure you're disposing of stuff like that. In yeah. the like the other day, we saw a poopy diaper wrapped up. And left on the just, trail. Yeah, just left there. <laughs> so, you know, uh, And we were at a trailhead, and there was tons of broken glass from yeah. beer bottles and boo bo booze bottles. And <laughs> boo bottles. Boo bottles. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new thing. <laughs> booze bottles. Pick um, up your booze bottles and don't leave your poop on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Dog, human, but, whatever. You know, just think about, you know, if you travel to a place, and I say this to a much broader audience, you travel to a place that's a tourist destination, just understand that they're going to be stressed. Right. And so learn, like, what to do with your garbage, where to recycle. Yeah. Learn as much yeah. as you can about it mm -hmm. beforehand and um, leave it better than you found it. Yep. And I think if you kind of follow those rules, you wouldn't want anyone to come into your physical space and trash and trash it. Right. And and I think I speak for a lot of places in the country that are tourist destinations. Yeah. They are all, I think, overloaded right now. Yeah. We are COVID. overloaded with yeah. Airbnbs. The locals yeah. can't find places to live. Yeah. The affordable places are all taken up by Airbnbs. And so that's having a ripple effect in that it's causing businesses to rethink how they operate, some even close. Yep. And um, so I, I know the city's working on that. Okay. Mm hmm and last one, what's your adventure? Yeah, so I'm kind of living my adventure now. And when I moved here, I decided that I would build my life based on community and experience. Mm -hmm. And so community is basically connecting with people, understanding when I move to a new place, and I've lived in a lot of different places, I kind of like to go out and explore mm -hmm. and figure out what, what is this going to look like for me? And how am I going to get involved? I'm very involved. I do a lot of yep. volunteering now that I'm retired. And so I'm living my adventure. I'm very into photography. Yep. I'm going to start doing some things with that business-wise. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I enjoy traveling yep. with with my sidekick and yep. my forerunner. Yep. And uh, I, I'll drive across country and yep. um, take my camera with me and my dog and go visit friends and, yep. you know, enjoy... Sedona yep. different times of the year yeah, right. and even in the summer when it's really hot you know I'll go up to Flagstaff where it's 10 to 15 degrees cooler and hike with Scouty and take right. pictures so there's Options. there are ways that you yep. can 
um, get around, around some of the challenges of living yep. in different places. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Donna. Mm -hmm. Finally, there's a face. There's not just mm -hmm. this out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The phantom. The phantom. <laughs> in Sedona. I got the shit. Yeah. <laughs> I did get the shit. She did and get it. We are gonna continue to work on yeah. the hippie necklaces. You don't we finish are. you don't finish a necklace yeah. in one fell swoop. No, that's next. I know it's people a creative want, process. Yeah. So we're working on that next. So I will show you the yeah. necklaces mm -hmm. once we are done with them. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And hair stuff. Okay. You can do that too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well okay. thank you, Donna. Bye. All right. Bye.